Hi, this is Eric with Cat Avenue, and today I'll be showing you a little bit about steel shapes and how they work inside MetQ. We're going to be creating a 3D drawing, but we're going to be also using a 2D grid underneath it. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, there are a couple things we want to check before. One is our dim scale. Dim scale is going to tell us how big our balloons are going to be on our grid, and also our bill of materials. So I want to set this to 48 in this example. Um, you can experiment with that number, um, but 48 is essentially balloons are large enough for a quarter inch scale drawing. We have videos on that as well, how to use dim scale. Um, so check those out. And also we want to check our O-snap settings. So make sure that we have endpoint, midpoint, and intersection turned on. So now that those are set, let's go ahead into our utilities pull down in MetQ and select grid generator. Now there's a couple of ways you can get to this. I'm using the ribbon, so I'm selecting it from here. But you can also go into the MetQ pull down and select it inside the drawing utilities pull down here. If you don't have this top bar turned on, you can do so typing in menu bar and then setting it to one that turns on this top bar. So let's go ahead and draw that grid in. Um, we have in this example I'm going to go ahead and start out with the number one for the horizontal for the top balloons here and then for the vertical balloons I'm going to use the letter A. It's a three by two grid. I have 160 units in the Y direction and 120 in the X direction. So these are units, so keep that in mind. I'm working in uh, Imperial, so uh, these are divided by 12 to get your uh, feet and inches. I'm also using an extension distance of 50. Uh, that's this distance here. So let's go ahead and just draw that grid in. So now that we have our grid drawn in, let's go ahead and go into the Still Shapes utility. I'm going to go ahead and select the W shape here in the middle. I'm using a 44 by 335, um, but there's lots of different shapes available here. We're going to make sure that column is turned on. And then once we're ready, we're going to go ahead and select the View Draw button. Now these are sensitive to where you pick. So in this case I'm going to be picking it from the middle. So I'm going to select it from the middle here. And then I'm going to be snapping to the intersection on the grid. It's asking me in the command line for a height. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in 0, comma 0, which is the X and Y. And then 12 feet for the height. And at this point it wants the roll angle, and we're just going to hit zero for this. So now we have our first um, column drawn. So now we're ready for our plate. So let's go into the plates utility. Here I've already worked out the length and the width. And the way I did that is I drew a rectangle around the uh, column and then I used this to basically snap to the rectangle um, to get this distance. All right, so let's select the plate from the, the exact center. And here we're going to make sure that 3D is turned on. And I'm going to be selecting it from the midpoint, or the center of the plate, and then selecting the intersection of my grid. And now we can view this in 3D. Let's go ahead and shade it. Now you can see the plate and the column together. Next I can select both the plate and the column. And then using my grid I can just copy it from here to here. Next I'll be drawing a steel bean using the S shapes. And again here we can select from the pull down. Draw 3D is turned on. This is going to get turned off. And then select View Draw. Let me go ahead and select this from the top. Now I'm going to 
select the midpoint this side to the midpoint of this side and that's going to give me my beam. Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to select this whole thing including the plate and I'm going to copy multiple from here to here and then to here. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put some more S shapes in again from the top. Let's go ahead and zoom down a little bit from here to this midpoint. Roll at zero degrees. Now let's go ahead and copy this from here to here. And we'll copy these using our grid in the same way. So now we have our drawing pretty much ready for the bill material. So we'll go back into the 2D view. I'm going to go ahead and pan over so that I have room for my schedule on this side. Go back into the Steel Shapes utility. Select the Bill Materials button. I'm going to be accumulating um, all the uh, structural members based on the same length and size. So all my horizontal beams will be in one row, all my vertical beams will be in another, and then same thing goes with my plates and my columns. I also have Bill of Materials balloons turned on, and I'm going to be showing you how to use that. So let's get started. We'll select Do Bomb. And then we're going to be selecting all the entities, so I'll just type all. And now it's going to be asking me for the top right corner of the table. I'm going to put it way up here. And I'm going to be starting the bubbling process. So um, the first bubble will be here for the vertical beam. Next will be here for the horizontal beam. And then my column. And then lastly, my plate. This creates a table for me and it also lists all the lengths, weights, and so forth uh, for each item. I appreciate your interest in MetQ. Uh, feel free to email us at info at catavenue.com or you can call us at 888-271-7121 and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.